32 now? Is it 32? Come on. You can't write this stuff. Him with a tiny vest going on. President, don't chuck at the president that way. I know. <laughs> what was with that tiny desk? <laughs> Who approved that? Somebody is obviously in the resistance. And to, to that I say, Viva la resistance, White yeah. House. Welcome to the fight. Yeah, someone's in the resistance. Yeah. I thought that was Photoshop. No. Tiny little desk. Tiny little man. Tiny little hands. Tiny little they, ego. It's like I just love that the whole national thing is just... In, you know, around his fifis right now. Yeah. It's like they took the entryway table and, and set it in, yes. you know, in the in the room and, and yeah, yeah, slapped yeah. the presidential seal on it. And the president. Yeah. God, it's so pathetic. It's fantastic. <laughs> and then what was the uh, Booby McBooberson from Booptown interview? That was really, oh. even for him, Captain Crazy Pants. So now <sighs> the, his FBI and DOJ are involved yeah. in the yeah. election theft. Apparently. From him. The DOJ that's been protecting him yeah. from all the things that he should be in prison now, right. for now, including the original treason with Russia, Mueller report, Ukraine, all that. Yeah. Yeah. That they. So now Bill Barr is an enemy of the people. Apparently. Yes. Yes. Right. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're involved. That was my favorite part. Where the FBI and the DOJ? Maybe they're involved. <laughs> okay. Oh. And then did he. What, who is he threatening to sue this morning? Wisconsin and Wisconsin. also Twitter because of uh, Diaper Don yes. was trending? Yes. So he threatened to sue tr Twitter, shut Twitter down? What is it? Because oh. Diaper Don was trending because he was at his little baby <laughs> desk yes. having his little baby tantrum. Yes. Okay. Oh, and then uh, he, he the uh, latest money that he scammed from his followers for the recount in, in uh, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. uh, Biden has gained 87 votes. Yes. So they paid, uh, was that $3 million? Yes. To, uh, oh, and the president's going to sue. Wisconsin. Right. And force another, re would that be the third time that Biden will win Wisconsin? He, he's suing them to overturn the result. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Okay, Had and that didn't work with the Trump appointee no. judge in Pennsylvania, no, no, who no. bitch slapped them into the middle of the next election cycle. So sure. now he's also deep state. All the Federalist, yes. Bush, and Trump appointed judges, also deep state. We're at the Nixon liberal talking to the portraits portion of the Trump presidency. <laughs> Come on, you didn't know this is going to be this super fun now. Because <laughs> now that you know he's lost, now this is really entertaining. Because I know, I understand there's still part of us that we're like, oh my God, like Charlie Pierce, I'm not going to rest until he, Biden takes his hand off the Bible. Because mm -hmm. they will try anything. Absolutely. Because th it's a party of traitors. And they're still going to continue to try after Biden takes his hand off the Bible. Right. Right. Oh, we have a, speaking of Diaper Don, don't oh. we have, we already have a, a tribute what? What? to Diaper Don really? this morning. Yes. Diaper Don. Yeah. Diaper Don. Every morning online, you could see him there whine. He stood six foot three and weighed 239. Yeah. Broad at the tummy and padded at the hip. And everybody knew he had to get a grip. Diaper Don. Ha! Diaper Don. Diaper Don. Diaper Don. Diaper Don. From his tiny desk, he put out a big tweet. And the coal miner said, Biden, he's a big cheat. And 80 million people put his hopes in the grave. And now there's only one who thought it was a close shave, and that's Don. Now they never renominated that worthless twit. They just put a marble stand in front of that. These few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this butt lies a big, big diaper, man. Diaper Don. Diaper Don. Oh, here we go. Okay. Diaper Don. Diaper Don. Diaper Don. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. Fantastic. Sorry, my box is sticky. Your box has to warm up. It's a little cold on, on a Monday morning. 2020. Oh. That's right. Those are the best conspiracy that everyone's in on. Everyone's in on it. Everyone. Including a lot of uh, Republican governors, secretaries mm -hmm. of state. Oh, he said he's uh, sorry he ever endorsed Brian Kemp. Yes. Who's only governor because he stole his own election. Exactly. And he tried to steal this one for Trump and failed. Yeah. Yeah. And the Republican secretary of state. And okay, does anyone, okay, so a friend told me a fairly famous right-wing dad. I think we know who it is now. 
Thanks. Don't. <laughs> well. Just, but I mean, they do take it as an article of faith. Like, oh, well, there was a lot of fraud in this election. And you're like, I, seriously, explain it to me like I'm a kindergarten. Like, how, how? Like, where is, the, literally, the judges said there is no evidence. Right. Like, you've presented actually zero evidence. I've had. Of any yeah, fraud. And, had, it, and it's it's like, and it's Republic. How? Trump has control of the United States government. Right. Like, I, just the basic, how would Democrats have done that? It's his FBI, his DOJ. Yes. In many cases, right, his Republican governor, secretaries of state. Like, how, how would. That's where the deep state excuse comes in. Oh. Uh-huh. That's why deep state is so important, because it gives them an out. Oh, we did not see you coming, Bill Barr, because you seem like a giant hack cover-up artist for Trump. But, oh, I see. Uh-huh. All this time, you were just laying in wait to do this so that. Yeah. I've been having this discussion with a former co-worker of mine. Ah. Yeah. Well, I he was like, I, I hope you Democrats enjoy cheating. Like, Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Says, I, the, says the fans of the illegitimate president. Right. Don't. Oh, which someone pointed out today, interesting, the FBI did steal an election that was 2016 for Trump. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was, right? Yeah. Rudy Giuliani's last bag of, you know, effery, right? Exactly. Is pressuring the uh, New York FBI to say they were going to leak the Hillary email thing, so mm-hmm. Comey had to come up, blah, 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 whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. What did they call the FBI? Trump world, yeah. right? Yeah. I can't. I just can't. Okay. Oh, um, oh here's uh, another baby news. <laughs> Anita tweets, breaking, Trump is contemplating having a rally during the inauguration to launch his 2024 uh, uh, run. According to Daily Beast, aides say Donald Trump has shifted his focus to ways he can disrupt Joe Biden. Uh, Let's send a message to the media. Ignore Trump. Thank you. Don't cover his stupid inauguration day. Look at me. I'm a big, fat diaper baby rally. Oh, my God. Can you believe we're living through this? I just, it's just like this tantrum. Just there is no end to this tantrum. No. Does it, is it going to be not, it's not even January 20th. Will the spinning in the Walmart parking lot on his back stop? Apparently. It won't. Right. It will continue. I, I don't understand. Because he wants to run in 2024. Right. Our friend Noel Kassler, who first alerted us to Diaper Don. Yes. Probably why he's a little sensitive to that because he wears diapers. diapers. Okay. Uh, he said Trump reacts to the Washington Post story this morning uh, describing his, um, his um, as a mad king by going on Fox News and proving that it's true. <laughs> it's true. Do we have? Do we want to do just – all right, I warned people. This is the uh, – okay. So none of this is alleged – here's the hilarious thing. None of this is alleged in any court – because you can't lie in a court of law. Right. So there's no – fraud's not even alleged right. <laughs> in his lawsuits, which, by the way, some legal experts said I've never seen someone lose – this much, this quickly. He's well, how many? Lo- are we up to thirty nine? Thirty nine. Th- they've lost thirty nine lawsuits yes. in a row. It's okay. one to thirty nine. Okay. All right. So they got one. All right. Dead people were, in some cases, in many, many cases, uh-huh. thousands of cases, voted, but also dead people made application to vote. They were dead ten years, fifteen years, what? and they actually made application. This is total fraud, and how the FBI and Department of Justice, I don't know, maybe they're involved, but how people are allowed to get away from this stuff, with this stuff is unbelievable. So the FBI and the DOJ are involved in dead people registering. Yes. You know, can I just say, <laughs> <laughs> I have been impressed in Herman Cain's ability to tweet while oh, he's dead. Yeah, there's that. But I'm just saying our dead people clearly more talented in that we have zombie people rising from the grave to register to vote. And Did zomb- he just say re- dead people are registering to vote? Yes. All those zombie minks. That's were- what I was just going to say, yeah. Chris. Uh-huh. I Thank you for wedging fun stack in here. Because <laughs> well, Travis is on vacation. He never lets us have any fun. No, he's he's not fun at all. I like to have fun. I don't, Listen, this is still vacation week time between Thanksgiving and <laughs> Christmas. This and is? I'm going to have some fun stack if it kills me can we slack off i think it's sure i think it's it's zombie minks sean okay you thought 2020 was done with us that's who's registering dead minks infected with a mutated form of covid rise from the grave after mass culling i hope they still had their skin i might need scarier music this is kind of the standard did they still have their skin i don't know i don't understand minks infected (laughs) with a mute Minks infected with a mutated strain of COVID-19 in Denmark 
appear to be rising from the dead, igniting a national frenzy and calls from local officials to cremate the mink carcasses. I had to do a little digging on the science part of this. So I guess the gases form while the body decays underground. And then it, they said in the, in the worst cases, the mink gets pushed up out of the ground, like out of the... All right. Just saying, there's a lot of ladies in Beverly Hills that are like, it's my mink coat, it's coming to kill Yeah, good, see? You shouldn't have bought one in the first place. Now your mink coat's gonna kill you. Selfish bitch. Zombie minks, yeah, I, right? I, I, yes. Right, 2020? You made me get that story for you. Okay. I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mark Elias, Democratic uh, election attorney, says, yes, Wisconsin's presidential recount is complete. Joe Biden gained 87 votes and again won the state. Trump becomes the first presidential candidate in history to lose recounts in two different states. Trump and his allies remain 1 in 39 in post-election uh, litigation. And I believe you're right. The one they won was um, the ability to uh, cough uh, keep their COVID germs on someone from a closer distance while watching. Right. Like t two feet closer yes. while they were watching the poll watchers, while they were being poll watchers. Okay. All right, so did I uh, did I miss any of the actual? The, okay, we got. What did I say? Get me the V Jamali because I know we need to find out what what the. For instance, is he doing with Iran and what's going on with this uh, assassination of the Iranian? Yeah. Uh, that's trying to perhaps provoke war so that right so that we can so Joe Biden will be, in every way. Right. Okay. Um, that's something new. Everyone was saying yesterday. We've never seen um, them not just working with the transition, but also trying to actively, um, what's the word? actively uh, undermine right. the incoming president, and therefore, um, what's the word? Oh, America, right. trying to undermine America. <laughs>